Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again. Go get the types. You too, Shadow. Like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. We hit that 200 subscriber mark. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, by the time I upload this, we will be at 1 million subscribers. Okay, yeah. All right, so this video today is how to make a mask. As you see, um, I don't know if I, yeah, okay, I think I'll let y'all know, but my mask came in. I got like a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of these. Uh, shout out to my homeboy. If you follow me in the Facebook group, I'm giving out names. He, um, he's a good supplier. Make sure you go get your mask from him. These are the sublimatable mask. Um, yeah, these things are sweet, man. These things are real sweet. So, what I have now, I got a couple orders lined up, but um, this main one I'm going to just show you um, is for a client. She wants 10 masks. 10 masks. So, um, we're going to get that started. So, first and foremost, I open up my Photoshop. Got my Photoshop loaded here. These are some old masks. I made a template. My template is... Um, these little square boxes are, let's see how much these little rectangles are. Uh, look like I sized them up, you know, um, six by four inches. They seem to work for me. So I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna delete all the old junks. I'm gonna um, just hide them. So I can, you know, if somebody wants them, I can just uh, go straight back to it. So I got all my, I got my mask template here. Of course, we're gonna die sublimate them. Let me bring in my artwork, if I could find it. I don't know where I, what I did with my artwork. Nope. It's somewhere on my desktop. I always got some. Here it goes, bam, right there. And I got my artwork. I'm gonna tell you where I got my artwork from, but you gotta follow me on my Facebook group, okay? So until then, yeah, basically I made this. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty simple, man. Follow me on that group. Like, comment, and subscribe. You already know what to do. So this is the template here. Alright. This is the template count. We're gonna be making these Ms. Ask. Uh, black woman are dope. Yes, y'all are. Black women are dope. I love y'all. I do, I do, I do. No disrespect to the white woman, y'all cool. I love y'all too. <laughs> but it's for the black woman here. All right. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Yes, sir. Let me bring that up a little bit. All right. So I, I just, I just slap it straight in the middle. Uh, once again, I'm eyeballing, and I know it sucks because you know I've been doing this for so long. I need to just tell y'all more. But um, what you do first, just make sure you measure your mass. Um, it's very simple. This is how you make a sublimatable mask, all right? You pull it out the wrapper. You get your ruler. You see this? You see that? You measure the jump. That's all you do. Don't be scared to bring out the ruler. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to mess up. So you just, the only thing you're doing is measuring the top and you're also measuring the bottom, okay? Hope y'all see that top and the bottom, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is take this artwork. We're gonna save this. Um, we're gonna save this file. You know what I'm saying? Save as um, black. I'm gonna just save it black woman BWD. No, I'm gonna just save it as black woman man. Black woman dope. There we go. Um, I'm gonna. I already sized my my uh, template to be. Um, I think it's 13 by 19. But I might need to snap. I need to snaz it up to 11 by 17, though. But I'm, I'm going to keep it 13 by 19. So if you watch my previous videos, I have the Sawgrass SG800. Uh, you do have to size it a little underneath that. So you have to do it 12.8 by, was it 18 point, whatever, whatever. As long as it's underneath the 19. But not too, you know what I'm saying? Not too crazy. Not too crazy. All right. So we're going to save it as a JPEG. <clears throat> all right okay we're gonna save that okay okay bam so we got it okay black woman dope it's on a desktop yes her blam 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 all right cool so now we go over here okay if you don't have photoshop you can also use gimp 
Hemp is a free software. I mentioned it in my group. I got some uh, reviews. Hemp, y'all smoke. Hemp, weed, whatever. Got them reviews coming up. All right, so if you go to your heat press, I had this heat press over 10 freaking years. This joint is a trooper um, power heat press. It was like $150, $200, something like that. It's still been kicking me good. All right, so 402 is the time. Um, anything over 400, just not too high, not too low. Um, the time I put is 65. Anything over 60, your Gucci Pucci. All right. So this is my, um, look like I need to charge it. For real, for real. Put my password in that jumped. Do -do 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 -do. All right, access has been granted. Damn, shit got dust everywhere. Weird, dude. All right, let's see. All right, so now we need to connect. Make sure our connections are on. Make sure our connections are on, on. See, the printer is currently on Energy Saver. I'm getting text messages. Shouts out the MacBook. Shouts out the MacBook. All right, so then we're going to go back over here. We're going to send this file through AirDrop, okay? We're going to AirDrop this. Um, <laughs> AirDrop. Where's that little button? Oh, share. Where's it? Yeah, share. All right, back again. And we got the artwork onto the desktop. That's all we needed right there. It's right there. Okay, cool. And there go the previous ones as well. All right, so we, I've, I've noticed a lot of people um, been having trouble with that Creative Studio if you have the Sawgrass. Um, maybe it's because you don't have design software. I don't know. But as you see, I use Photoshop. Make the, make the artwork pre-size to do everything. Um, people have been using Creative Studio and they've, they've been having issues, but I just go to Print Manager. Um, and then I open local file. I don't click Creative Studio, as you see, it's right there. I just open the file straight up. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. Hit the like button if that helped you. And then we're going to look up Black Woman Dope. Bang, bang. All right, okay. And then we're just going to hit the print. Hit the print button. Is it print? Shipping, shipping, shipping. Even though I don't have any paper in there, I'm just gonna grab the paper. And I'm just doing it one thing at a time. And I need to print 10, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just keep it simple. Keep it si -si 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 simple. Keep it real simple. Um, just do one at a time. So I got three to a page, three, six, nine, you know, four copies three and a half you know what i'm saying I have a little extra all right so it says ready i already sent it to the printer hopefully i don't need to reboot um the entire jump man all right so it's printing y'all it's printing it's printing. Let me know if y'all need some additional assistance uh, making this thing work. Because as you, if you watch my previous videos, it it ain't been working for me. It ain't been working. But um, all right. So this is the next step. What I do is um, I I put a sheet of craft paper. Um, in this scenario, I'm being wasteful. I'm wasting my sublimation paper. But uh, you can use sublimation paper, craft paper. I just do it so that uh, none of the ink bleeds to the to the pad. All right. So now it's printing out. It looks decent. You know, I use the XC inkjet ink, the same ink. You know, what I'm saying that I've been using in my previous videos. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna lay this over here. Get it over here so it can dry for a little bit. We're gonna print out the second jump. But I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna hold y'all for real for real. I'm just gonna print. I'm just gonna once that dries up over there, I'm just going to basically you know make a mask or two. I'm not gonna do the whole order, you know what I'm saying? That'd be just wasteful. So let me um I'm just gonna send this to the open local file. I'm just gonna send this to the whatchamacallit to the printer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Whoop, never did that before. All right, print. Yeah, so this this is my settings I'm using. 
polyester fabric, text print all, high quality, back press tray. Whoop de whoop. Click it off. All right, let me set up my jumped right here. All right, are y'all ready for me to make some mask? Y'all ready? I know. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> All right, cool. So. All right, so basically what I do, um, you know, I grab my scissors and the next step is simple. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just cut it, cut it out. Feel free to watch me and just cut, you know what I'm saying? Just cut along the edge. You know, if you want to leave a little, a little white border, you can. I'm gonna show you once what I mean with a little white border. Just a little white border. Damn, hold on, I can't cut today. Hurry up, y'all. I got a, a meeting to go to. A client wants to get 600 t-shirts. So I'm very excited about that. But that one is a screen printing job. Um, hit the thumbs up. Now, matter of fact, comment if y'all want to see me screen printing some, uh, some t-shirts, okay? I hope this didn't mess it up. Tried to avoid it, but I hope that didn't mess up anything. I touched it, touched the ink. I didn't mean to touch that ink like I did. I left a smudge. My hands are a little sweaty. All right, there we go. Where we at? Give me to me like. Where my shirt's at? Where my mask at? All right, so this is what I mean. If you are a very technical person, I cut along the edge. Um, sometimes I leave that little, just a little white trim, just a teeny tiny little trim. All right, so we got, I'm gonna try to do two masks at a time. We take out y'all. So basically, what you do from here, I'm trying to move this out the way so you can see a little better. That's about as best as I can get the jump for real. There we go, y'all. Hook it up like that. All right, cool. Okay, y'all. So this is the part. This is the part right here. So make sure it's nice and make sure it's nice and flat. Okay. So you're gonna need to pre-press your mask. Okay. Pre-press these things. But when you put the um, I use a Teflon sheet. Okay. So, but when you put the Teflon sheet over, make sure you got the wrinkles out. Smooth it out with your hand, so you don't feel any lumps and bumps and dents and all that. All right. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pre-press for, shit, let me loosen up the pressure here. All right. Do this um, for like, like 10 seconds. There we go. So look, look, look. 
You see at first it was all wrinkled and stuff. Now it's nice and it's a little wrinkled. I don't know what's going on, but um, it's flat enough for you to put the artwork on it, okay? I don't like it looking like this though. So I might I might press it again. Alright. So just make it nice and flat enough, okay? Nice and flat enough. So now we're about to put the finishing touches to it. Um, sometimes I use the heating tape. I just put it on the back so that it holds down in place. Sometimes you can. You can do it just uh, just put the artwork on it. But a lot of times when you're printing like darks, dark colors. Like the ink is very heavy and it tends to kind of curl up a little bit so I would say the best thing to do just to keep it in place is to use like a heating tape and this is the heating tape that I'm using um, something decent some from Amazon it's just called heat transfer tape I've seen people use like um, people have been saying you can use um, painters tape I haven't quite tried it I'm not against it, I just haven't tried it. So, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ever use painter's tape, let me know so I can start using painter's tape. All right, so we got both of our things taped down. Both of our things are taped down. We're just gonna tape it onto the mask. Make sure everything is lined up. You can kind of see through it, feel it around, make sure the artwork is in the right place. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna tape it, smooth it out there. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Make sure you, you know, feel around for the edges. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. You put your, you see how it's starting to curl up again? Yep. It's starting to curl up. Put your little Teflon sheet down or wherever you use. And then you wait. Uh. Let's see how this turns out. Let's see how this turns out. Alright, so we got our tape. All right, y'all. So here goes the final product. This is how it looks, and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, this is dope. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is dope, son. Now, another question I've been getting from a lot of people, they're just saying, oh, how come it doesn't, does yours leave a border? Does yours leave a border? Yes, of course. Yours is gonna leave a border because, you see, this is black trim, okay? If you order just the straight white ones, then the dye sublimation is gonna overtake that white. You get it? If you order like a lime green, the dye sublimation is gonna overtake that lime green, okay? So, I ordered black, I like the black, because it has the black trim. If I make black mass, you know, the trim will pop over it. Uh, maybe in the future I'll buy the, 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 the white ones with the black strings, um, that way the whole artwork can take over it. But I like these ones, I like these. So, Basically, 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. I love it. Um, got a little flares here. That's something minor. But I think it's something with the print heads. Maybe some dirt clogged in there. But it looks the same on this. So I don't know. But yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, these jeans is hot, y'all. Red. They make me want to wear one. <laughs> these jeans is dope. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to finish the rest of these. I don't want to hold y'all. But I hope you got the gist of how to make um, dye sublimation mask. Uh, once again, click the link. Um, I'm going to drop it in the bio for my Facebook group. I'm going to be giving a lot of good tips where I got this art from and where you can get a lot of trendy artwork that's selling. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. Sell what sell. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go get a Types YouTube. We're on our way to a million subscribers, son. <laughs> All right, peace out.